Any solution that is introduced will cause a change to happen. Changes in the way people follow a process, understand a process, think about a process, and so on. In order to ensure the process is accepted and adopted in an organization and that the selected solution will work, teams run initial pilots. Pilots are simply a trial implementation of the team's solution on a small scale. While carrying out the pilot, it is critical for teams to conduct reviews and collect data to compare pilot results against the targeted results. They can also solicit feedback from those involved in the pilot to determine what worked according to plan and what elements might need to be tweaked prior to a full-scale rollout. This data will help demonstrate the success of the solutions and help gain organizational support for the change. When selecting a pilot, make sure to follow a few guidelines. We suggest picking neither the worst nor the best situation. Similarly, the size of the pilot should be large enough to validate, but small enough to be manageable. Ensure that the current operation is stable and avoid areas where other initiatives are underway. Your team should be present as much as possible during the pilot. Conduct daily performance reviews to demonstrate capability. Furthermore, have additional resources available to troubleshoot glitches. Always define success criteria before beginning the pilot. Once the pilot is underway, collect data not only on the process, but also on any factors that may influence results. It's important to manage expectations and perceptions of management, customers, and staff. To ensure the greatest success, follow a specific pilot verification plan that clearly states the product or service at hand, the processes being tested, overall objectives, and verified steps. Remember to include a measurement plan with well-defined operational definitions. During and after the pilot, record observations, root causes, and follow-up actions on the pilot verification plan. Keep in mind that during control, the next phase, your team will need to evaluate both the pilot's impact on reducing or eliminating the root cause as well as the effectiveness of the implementation.